So, we're just at Donington Park on an RMA track day. So before anybody goes crazy, this is what you're doing. You can have a tech on both sides here. So track's just open. I'm gonna get out as soon as I can. We've brought Mark II a beaver and as you can see, a smoky lion over there. So I'm only one of you driving, so I'm gonna try and get out in absolutely everything. So see what happens. So it's nearly lunchtime. The George Foreman grills over there. Put some bacon on it. We'll get some burgers on it in a bit. But been out in all three cars now, and uh, the Abifa really nice. We just changed the rear springs on uh, the front springs. Sorry, on that made them a bit stiffer, and it's worlds apart compared to what it was. The Mark II, I've not been out in that when it was sort of drying like it is now, a bit too damp. 
and them tyres are rubbish when it's damp, them gitties. Maybe good for dry, but not for damp. And then the Leon, we've just been out in that. I can't get it to look where I want it to look. We've just been out in that, and uh, that was pretty good as well. Oil temps are getting a bit hot now, though. Cool one's mint now, but oil temps are getting a bit hot, so let's go back out in it, see what lap times I can do. So, burger time. Owen's made them this time, so we've used a proper implement, but a bit, a bit burnt. So, Paul's not messing about with Leon. We've managed to hack away at the super expensive carbon fibre front end. We've put a, another oil cooler on there in front. It's before, it's hard to see maybe. It's just mounted down there, not a lot of airflow behind it. I'm sure there's plenty going into it. But not a lot going behind it. So, I'm going to try and get that all sorted and then we'll go from there really. I'm hoping, I've, I've done a, a 122 in the beef, I've done a 124 in this. I'm hoping go out in Steph's Mark to under like a 125, 126 and then might be a bit, I don't know, we'll see. And I want to do like a one, it'd be nice to do a 120 in this anyway, but we'll see. So what I hadn't talked about, and I didn't realise we'd got on there, but we've got some brake ducts on here now. It's a bit harder to see again. But they're coming from there, inside here, and um, they up to the back of the caliper, which I don't think we'll be able to see. Well, it goes on to there anyway. So, hopefully, when I go out in this, this next time, the oil cool situation's sorted. We are going to have to monitor charge temps because that is the, whatever it is, that is the intercooler and we've covered probably half of it up. So hopefully we don't get any charge temp problems, but if we do, we'll figure something else out for that.
I've just been out in the lay on again. Absolutely smashed my lap time. Hopefully you've seen some footage of that. But then towards end of run, felt a little splutter. Had a quick look over it. Oil temps have gone crazy again. So you see where Paul put it. Put it in there. And one of the things we did while we were going out, I just said it'd be a good idea to log the inlet air temps, because we're covering half intercooler. We've logged them and they're getting to 90 as well. So there's some are not right. We're going to move oil cooler again to another place. It's a bit more work, a bit more cutting. And we're going to change the oil as well, because it's got up to like 140, 150 now, so it's just cooked that oil. So annoying, frustrating, but we should be able to get it somewhere near where we want it to end. We'll get reliable. We've still got a few hours left. So I'm going to go out in the Mark II now and see what's what. And I've pretty much finished what I need to do with a layer. A layer. A beefer. The beefer's uh, all good now. We're just going to put it back onto the trailer. And that's ready to rock. Quick check when we get back to the workshop. Maybe change brake pads and stuff like that. But other than that, ready to rock. So, another session. Steph's Mark II is done. We can't really do what else we've done a decent lap time in that. Really happy with that. Shaved a little bit more off, and there's still more to come if we really wanted to. So I think we'll just leave that as it is. Um, we found where it starts to go, sort of start limping along when you're running out of fuel. So we don't need to do any more testing on that. It's not got a massive tank even, so we can't do a massive session if we when you use it and burk it. So, we're, um, we're not far off doing what we need to do. The only other problem, this bloody thing. So we've moved the oil cooler now. Paul did put it there, but we've shifted that. We've put it now, you can't really see it, but there we go. We're on air jacks here. That's the oil cooler now. So, we're having to try, do whatever we can do to get some more airflow through it. So we think now, because the oil's got hot a couple of times and we're only running Quantum Platinum, which is what we'd normally run in track stuff, but maybe not something that's not got the best oil cooling. We've got some Miller's oil from the guys next door. That's that. So 80 quid's worth of oil later. We're going to get that thrown in and just see if it takes any longer for it to come up to temp because these guys reckon they were 10 degrees when they tried it in their race car. So we're hoping for similar gains, really. It'd be nice to get 30 <laughs> or 40, but we'll see what happens. There's only another like 40 minutes to go on this track, track day, and we've got to get it tested because really, we're not going to have much time to do uh, any stress testing before I break it. So we'll see what happens. Fly water. Definitely don't touch it.
So, the end of another reasonably productive day. Take it easy. We, um, we've done the usual, nearly broke everything. The Abifa's fine, that's all right. Bumper needs, needs some tie wraps on, but that was not to do with me. That was Scott last time, all right. Um, Mark II, need to just sort a couple of little bits out, but no major. It could go as it is, really, if we wanted to. So, we know where we are with fueling and everything on that. Um, Leon, oil cooling, still a problem. So, that's the, that's the next job for us to sort that out. Um, we're not really going to have that tested before the Berkey, so... Struggling, but we'll get it sorted. So, hopefully this has been a decent watch. I've probably not vlogged as much. Danny's going to shout at me tomorrow when he gets the footage and starts playing about with it. So we'll try and get this on as soon as possible, hopefully before the race itself. So, thank you for watching. Anything that you're not sure on or anything I've missed, let us know in comments and we'll try and get it either in the next video or I'll just answer you. Anyway, I try and answer everybody. So, thank you.